Hey, God bless you. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited for today's video. I know that God is going to speak to your life. The title is, Do You Want Your Prayer Answered? The answer to your prayer is in Jesus. So do me a favor, watch this video the whole way through. I know that God's going to speak to your life. And also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I post weekly content that I know is going to encourage you in faith. Press that bell notification so that you can be alerted every time I post a brand new video. So let's jump right into it. Do you want your prayer answered? The answer to your prayer is in Jesus. So let's jump right into scripture. John chapter 5, verse 1 through 9. Now remember the theme of this video. Do you want your prayers answered? The answer to your prayers is in Jesus. And I want to dissect these scriptures. Let's find out why the person that we're about to read about, let's find out why this person was unable to receive the answers to their prayer for more than 30 years. Let's find out. John chapter 5, verse 1 through 9. Look what the Bible says. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there was in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool in Aramaic called Bethesda, which had five roofed colonnades. And these laid a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, do you want to be healed? So look what the Bible is doing. God wants us to have a better understanding of the scenario of the scene that Jesus is looking at. So let's talk about this scene. Let's talk about this scenario. The Bible says that this person that we're reading about had already been paralyzed for 38 years. That doesn't mean they're 38 years old. No, that just means they've been paralyzed for 38 years. Maybe they're 48 years old. Maybe they're 58 years old. Maybe they're 60 years old. Who knows what the age of this man is? But this one thing is for certain. He was paralyzed for 38 years. Now let's talk about this scene around the pool of Bethesda. You see, there was a belief that an angel of the Lord will come down every once in a while and move the waters of the pool. And the first person to jump into that water would be healed. Now you can imagine somebody who was blind. They can hear that the water is moving and they could probably try to find it. You can imagine somebody who was paralyzed or crippled, they can see the water that it's moving and they can try to get there, but they are not able to because they're crippled or they're lame. Or in this man's case, he had already been there for 38 years and he would see many people get into the water, but he could never get there on time. Why? Because he was paralyzed for 38 years. Now, I want to let you know this, that the definition for the word Bethesda in the Hebrew, the definition of the name Bethesda is house of mercy or house of pity. And the Bible says something very interesting. The Bible says that around this pool, there were five roofed colonnades. Now, a roof colonnade is kind of like a gazebo. It's a place where you can sit down and you can have some shade over your head. The word of God is letting us know that these people had already grown comfortable just to be waiting. They had a comfortable place to wait and see what was going to happen. Do you know that there's a lot of Christians like that? There's a lot of Christians who are comfortable with the lifestyle that they have. And I'm not talking about a godly lifestyle. I'm talking about maybe what a stagnant lifestyle. I'm talking about because they're struggling with something in their life. Do you know that there's a lot of Christians like that? That they're comfortable in the situation that they're in. Now, this man was crippled. He was paralyzed. He had something that was stopping him from living his life. I want you to know that this story is a good representation of how there's many things in many Christians' lives that is stopping them from being able to live out their Christian life, that is preventing them from living a life of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. But these people were comfortable. Why? Because they had a place of shade over their head. The Bible says that there is five roofed colonnades. Well, the Bible says that Jesus finds out that this man was already there for 38 years. Can you imagine? This man wanted a miracle for 38 years. This man had a great need for 38 years. And he was just hoping for a miracle. He was just hoping for a chance that maybe he can get into that water when the angel moved it and that maybe he could be healed. But there was always somebody who would get in there before him. Somebody else was always getting the miracle. Somebody else was always getting the breakthrough. Somebody else was always getting the help from God. There's a lot of people who feel like that. Like, man, I've been waiting on God. I'm praying. I'm waiting for a miracle. I'm waiting for a breakthrough. But all I see is somebody else getting a miracle. All I see is somebody else getting a breakthrough. All I see is somebody else receiving what they've been praying for. All I see is somebody else receiving the miracle that they've been asking God for. But where's my breakthrough? Where's my miracle? Where's my answered prayer? 
This man had been there 38 years, but listen to this. The Bible says that he bumps into Jesus. You see, what were these people waiting for? These people were waiting for the water to move, and if they would step into the water, they could be healed. But do you know who the Bible calls rivers of living water? The Bible calls Jesus rivers of living water. He is the water that brings healing to us. He is the water that will quench our thirst. See, there was also a group of people one day that told Jesus, hey, Moses gave our fathers, talking about their ancestors, Moses gave our fathers bread from heaven. They were talking about the manna. And they asked Jesus, what sign do you give us? He gave them bread from heaven. What do you give us? Jesus said, no, 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 look. They ate that bread, but that bread didn't give them eternal life. Jesus says, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. So there was people that were waiting for a spiritual bread. Jesus says, I am the bread. There was people who were waiting for water. Jesus says, I am the rivers of living water. See, this man was waiting for this physical fountain called Bethesda to be moved by an angel so that he can step in and be healed. But guess who he's meeting? He's meeting the rivers of living water. I want to tell you something. Jesus Christ is the rivers of living water. Jesus is the bread from heaven. He is the bread of life. You no longer have to be hoping and wishing, maybe one day this is going to happen. Maybe one day I'm going to have a breakthrough. If there's something in your life that is weighing you down, if there's something in your life that you are struggling with and you are asking God to help you, keep walking by faith. Keep trusting in the Lord. Your breakthrough is coming. Your miracle is coming. God is looking at you and he's with you. Let's look at what happened to this man. Let's keep reading the Bible. Remember, this is John chapter 5, verse 1 through 9. We're going to begin reading verse 7. So Jesus asked this man, do you want to be healed? That's what God is asking us today in this video. Do you want to be healed? Do you want me to move in your life? And look what the man tells him. The sick man answered him, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. And while I am going, another steps down before me. You know what he tells Jesus? I want to be healed, but I cannot be healed. I want to be made whole, but I cannot be made whole. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt like, man, I want to change, but I can't change. Man, I want to overcome this, but I cannot overcome this. I want to be delivered from this, but I cannot be delivered from this. Guess what? That's exactly how this man felt. He said, I do want to be healed. I do want to be made whole. But when the water's moved, I don't have anyone to help me. And somebody always gets there before me, and I never receive the miracle. I want to let you know that Jesus wants you to know that today is the day of salvation. And Jesus wants you to know that what is impossible for man is possible with God. If there's something in your life that you are waiting for God to do, keep trusting the Lord. He wants you to know that he is the answer to your prayers. Look what the Bible keeps saying. Jesus said to him, get up, take up your bed and walk. And at once the man was healed and he took up his bed and he walked. Do you know that there's a lot of people kind of like this man waiting for a sign to be able to believe God. They're waiting for a sign to be able to walk by faith. They're waiting for a sign to be able to believe that God is with them. But do you know what your sign is? Your sign is that the son of God, Jesus Christ, paid the price for you on the cross over 2,000 years ago. That is your sign. You see, this man was waiting for someone to help him get in the water. Jesus told this man, do you want to be healed? The man said, I do want to be healed, but I don't have the ability to reach the place of healing. That's how you might feel. You might say, I do want to change. I do want to overcome. I do want to be better. I do want to be different. I don't want to stay in this stagnant lifestyle. I do want to change. I do want to please God, but I don't have the ability to. Listen, Jesus Christ is the one that will give you the ability. What you need to do is you need to believe his word. What did Jesus tell this man? And what was the reaction of this man? Jesus told this man, take up your bed and walk. The man obeyed and he stood up by faith. That man had been sitting on that bed for 38 years. And when Jesus told him, get up, he got up. I want to tell you something. I know that there might be condemnation. I know that there might be guilt. And I know that there might be regret in your life. I know that there might be doubt in your life. But I want you to do the same thing that this man did. Jesus told this man, get up. And he got up. What does this represent for us nowadays? Believe the word of Jesus. If God is telling you you are more than an overcomer, believe that. You are more than an overcomer. If God is telling you you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, believe that. 
You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. If the Bible tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life, believe that. That if you've confessed the name of the Son of God, if you believed in Jesus Christ, the Bible says that you are saved. And the Bible tells us that the good work that he has started in you, he is able to finish it. Believe that. This man believed the words of Jesus and he was made whole. I want you to know, believe the words of God and you are being made whole. God has started a good work in you and he is able to finish it. Keep trusting the word of God. Believe his word. Walk by faith. And the things that you are battling with now, in Jesus' mighty name, you will not be battling them later. The things that you are dealing with right now, the pains, the hurts, the sorrows that might be going on in your life, keep walking by faith. Keep believing God. And guess what? In Jesus' mighty name, those things will be overcome in your life. Keep trusting God. God is with you. The Holy Spirit's inside of you. And God is telling you, stand up and believe my word. Hey, God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it bless your life. Also, if you're not subscribed, do me a big favor. Subscribe. This is a growing channel. And I post weekly videos that I know will encourage you in faith. And turn that notification bell on so that you can be alerted every time I post a brand new video. God bless you. Remember, the answer to your prayers is in Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.